right now on the way back from my physical and my mom's giving me a funny look. Um, I can see you in the rear view mirror. Anyways, um, and my dad's giving me a weird look too, but I want to disturb my video because I'm going to have homework when I get home. I just got a shot. It, does, it didn't hurt when I got it, but it stung afterwards. Um, but so, this week's theme is superlatives for the uh, characters. For I, I'm kind of, some of them are creative, some of them aren't. And so, I figured I'd start with Bella. Um, and I'm giving Bella the Lizzie McGuire Award because, according to the Lizzie McGuire movie, uh, I feel that she's most likely to mess up a graduation by tripping over something and falling into the curtain and ripping it down and having it wind up on Good Morning America. So Bella, you get the Lizzie McGuire Award. And next, I'm going to do Alice. And as for Alice, I think that she would be the better than Professor Trelawney in Hogwarts and teaching divination because, you know, she's all like psycho, she's all psychic, psychic, you know, like, shh. So, in case you're wondering why I have red on my face, it's because we have a pep rally tomorrow and I was helping uh, my friend Judy, Julie, and Hannah paint this banner that says sophomores and then Hannah painted like the best Monopoly guy. Mr. Moneybag, she painted like the best one ever, and we were like, oh my god, that's amazing, because she's like an artist, so, you know. As for James, I'm going to have to give him the most likely you would not want to meet in a dark alley. Yes, James is the name of my brother also, but it's also the name of character Twilight, that's my mom. Hi, mom. Hi. Anyways, I would have to say he's like the most likely person you would not want to stumble upon in a dark alley because that'd be a little bit sketchy. Also, um, Warren maybe to get that, you know, one of the two, I'd have to say. Maybe even Victoria. That wild hair, you'd be like, what the fuck, my man? For Jasper, I'd probably have to say best hair because, I mean, you, just, you can't top that. Uh, Edward has pretty nice hair, but Jasper, you know, his hair is just like, kazam. It's out there. Okay, I'm home now, and I would like to inform you all that shots are not supposed to bleed this much. I mean, honestly, okay, that's just a little gross. Anyways, back to uh, superlatives. Yes, that's what I was doing. I would have to say most likely to run the speed limit would be Edward. Because we all know that he is a speedy driver. And we all know that he does not like to obey traffic laws. So, I think he would be most likely to run the speed limit. As for Emmett and Rosalie, I think they would probably win best couple. Just because there are a lot of people that say... Or like, you know, or jealous of Bella because she's totally average looking and Edward's like a god in human form, but not really. Um, and then also a bunch of people, me being one of them, don't really like Bella. So, you know, I, I don't, I wouldn't vote her best couple with Edward, personally. So yeah, I think Rosalie and Emmett would probably win best couple. Because also we've learned they're very affectionate with each other, more than, uh, Bella and Edward, supposedly, and that's kind of hard to believe, because Bella was crying for sex. Th that was just a little outrageous, Bella. Just a tiny bit. Okay, so that's all the superlatives I have. Um, I got a challenge from Miss Tuesday, and I'm working on my frame right now, but um, I actually didn't get a chance to watch all of the videos from this week until yesterday, so I didn't even learn I had a challenge until yesterday at about 9 p.m. So I am working on that, and I will put that in my next video at the beginning. Time for my challenge! So whoever I draw this week, my challenge for you is to make up an alternate ending to one of the books. Um, it can be any book you want, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, or Breaking Dawn, and just it doesn't have to be that long, just maybe say, like, the last chapter or so, what you would have happen, as opposed to what did happen. You can have everybody die for all I care. You can have people, well, only one character. No, that's not true. You can have a character not die. Um, you can have two people, like, fall in love that didn't fall in love. The only thing that I don't want you to do is add yourself into the story. 
<laughs> just because I want it to be like an actual ending that could have happened in the book. Remember that. So let's find out who the lucky alternate writer is going to be. And we have sorry, Miss Friday. I think I got you last week, so I don't know if I should draw again or not. Um, how about a, I'll I'll give you the challenge, but I'll draw someone else too. I think I have I gotten you the last like two weeks. I'm, I think I may have gotten you the last two weeks. So I'm also going to draw another person, and you can do it if you want to. But I guess it can actually go to this person. Just because I think I actually have challenged you the last two weeks. What is this? Could it be? Yes, it is. Monday. Brandy. B. Okay, so that's your lovely challenge from me this week, and I think that's all. So I will post my beautiful frame in my at the beginning of my video next week before I actually do next week's theme. And yeah, so, peace out, home skillet. Is it just me, or is nobody else's Twilight trailer working? I'm freaking like... I had to rip up a sheet of paper. I'm not even joking. I like took a paper and I'm like... Yeah. Okay, it is exactly 8.32. It was supposed to come out at 8 o'clock. I installed the widget because they're stupid and they're like, okay, we're not going to post it on the website. We're going to make you guys go through all these steps to get the trailer at 8 o'clock. So, you know, I go and I install the widget for Facebook. And I go, and it doesn't work. So now, I have to wait another 30 minutes before it gets released on MySpace in HD. What? This is blasphemy. I'm telling you, it's blasphemy. I am pissed off immensely. Summit, you watch out.